Yo, fellas, what's going on? Uh, this is, uh, I'm doing a project. This is the canopy, but this is what I wanted to show you. Now, my attempt on this thing, obviously, that's going to be the door where the sump sit. This is the tank, but I wanted to make one of these, we call them recess boxes for your tablet or your your pump control or something of that nature. So all I did, cut out a window, make a box, make a box, see it on it here. And I guess inside of this will sit your tablet or whatever. It's a piece of glass, quarter inch glass. This glass was $10, cut $10. I went to this store, they ran me around for a week trying to get a piece of 316 glass, which wasn't expensive, $30. I said, let me pay them up front. One week later, still didn't get the glass. Went yesterday, got my refund, went to this place one of my friends told me about, can't remember the name. Walked in, they was like, we have quarter inch, we'll cut it for you right now. $10.75. Now, they didn't polish it. I had a, it's not sharp, see? I had a, it's like one of those Dremel kits that had like these little stone wheels and cut off this and something. I just used some water with the little stone wheel on one of those Dremel things, like one of these Dremel things. And I just sanded the sharp edges, I guess, with the stone wheel. I guess you could do it with a belt sand and fine grit sandpaper either which way but it was just these stone wheel I had from years ago and it's completely it was sharp when I first got it it worked so I'm gonna keep you posted on this bill I wanna I wanna put a little LED light then tablets a couple of wave pump or something I'll get a I'll get a handle for this on Amazon whatever and it's just you know it opens it closes may change these pivot points may move them over a little bit this way that way it allows the door to open much wider right now it let me see right now it's like that's the extent to where it opens which when you sit in it this way that would be enough to get to your tablet but I think I want it to open a little bit more so probably change the pivot point on these move them over now if you're doing this it's very hard to get a drill you see these little grommet looking things whatever you call them to make this pivot very hard to get that this close because your drill doesn't fit this close I went to let me see hold on, hold on. that's for you guys that's doing this Home Depot sells this thing. You hook it up to your drill and you put a drill bit in there. It allows you to get much closer. So if anybody's drilling in a corner for any of these things and you get one of these things. I like buying tools. I like having tools to do whatever I'm doing and not killing myself. So went to Home Depot to look for that. As you see my earlier posts decided you know what I got all these I'm a Milwaukee guy so let me just get the cordless sander because I already got all the saws and drills and sawzos and whatever I said let me get that to go with already had the battery so why not just get that so Anyway, stay tuned for this. I'm going to try to make this... I'm going to try to make it somewhat nice. It's not for me. It's either going to be for my niece, which will be for my niece, or probably going to be selling this. So it was an, it was an intention to set it up complete, stand, canopy. It's a rimless 25 by 25 you were braced tank, you know, star fire glass, the whole nine yards. 
with the sump and everything but me eventually just my niece been flirting with the idea of setting up a salt water not sure i want to do that because now it becomes my job to teach her and probably go do all of the work but probably in the next month or so trying to juggle this between all these little projects I got going on. So hopefully in the next month or so, we'll be doing this stuff. We'll be painting and, you know, sealing in the whole nine yards. Now in here, that's prime. I think I use the oil-based kill, stain black or prime or whatever. I don't know if you need to use oil base, but I said, what the hell? Let me just go with the oil base because it's exterior, interior, exterior. So for anybody that's thinking about doing this, you're not too sure if you can go with the oil base. I guess it will hold up a little bit better to the soil creep and stuff like that. So I will cork it and then I will paint the inside with an oil base white paint, you know, the outside that gets wiped off, you know, like furniture, you know, I could use water-based latex. So anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, share. I'll be posting it to my Instagram also. So, you know, thank you again for watching. I'm finished here. Got to go do <laughs> a coral run. So... Thank you again for watching, juggling all these things. It's your boy Risto, Risto's Reef. Thank you.